Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Estancia Sao Carlos with me, See Waddy here in Farming Simulator 22. It is the start of a very brand new morning here in the game. And it is the start of April. Uh, since the last episode, um, I completed the harvesting contract. I then, on the last day of March, did a planting contract for sunflowers over here on field 12. And I also did a cultivating contract over here on field 22. Um, which I did record, or attempt to record. But when I came to actually edit and render the video last evening, um, the video file was corrupted. So out of the three videos that I recorded yesterday, on Monday, the 2nd of October, um... Only the first two were viable for me to actually turn into video. So I lost a video. I lost a whole video of footage. But basically, I just planted that. I did a contract for planting that field. Did a contract for cultivating field 22, which is the one we did the harvest contract on. And the only other thing I did in that video was, you will notice my auger wagon has gone. I sold my auger wagon because... I was having a nightmare trying to refill the cedar, uh, the planter that I would borrowed for the contract. Um, so I ended up selling the org wagon and getting this fillable pallet thing instead, the global goods transport pallet, which um, using my little front loader here, I was actually able to fill the planter in the keep the, the planter filled in the field. And um, yeah, that worked very well for me you will also notice my harvester has disappeared the reason for that is i felt having done the last harvesting contract that i needed um an upgrade so at the moment we do not have a harvester uh we've re returned out the new holland and we're going to get a different one as soon as we need to do a harvest contract However, today, we get to do something a bit different today. Today, we get to actually start doing our mowing business. So, the first thing I need to do today is buy some mowing units for my, my tractor. And I decided to go with, I think it was the, was it the Kong slide? Yeah, these babies. Uh, so I'm going to have one of these. I got horses. We're going to have one of these. With the wind rower built in. That's quite expensive. But we're buying it. Uh, we then need a baler. And I decided. Or I chose. To go for. Uh, uh, the lizard quick bale. With no brand, no rear hitches. We are going to have a silage additive tank. We are going to change that to... We're going to have it bright orange. And we're going to buy one of those. And then we need a bale loading trailer. Or something. Um, I think we're going to need the Anderson one. Hmm. We'll have one of those. Okay. Um, we are going to need a tether as well, aren't we? Um, what have we got? Point two, total one, 17 metre wide tether. Uh, it's a fairly big field that we're doing, isn't it? Um, I, I think. So perhaps at 17 metres, that's going to be pretty good. 
And then we're going to need, obviously, a standalone wind rower. Uh, that's 50 meters, the class one. Bang of forage. Bang of forage. That's seven meters. That's nine meters. 14 meters. The pottinger. The oxbow one is 12 meters. Uh, I mean, the Oxbow one's not bad. It only does left and right um, wops, though, doesn't it? Um, we'll go for the Pottinger. Yeah, we've got enough equipment for that. Right. So there's all our new stuff purchased. Suddenly our yard looks a lot fuller. Right. Our tractor. Our Fen favourite. So obviously, we're not going to need this bad boy. Attached to the front today. So let's park him. We agreed that this was going to be our mowing tractor. We did. Right. <clears throat> we can set off. To our grass field, ladies and gents, where we will make a star on our very first ever mowing. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable GPS, I'm going to set that to zero degree. So that point three is that right? Um, we we'll set it to twelve. I think that's better. Right, we'll open up the rear one. Check the swath. Swath dropping, that's what we want. And off we go. Our first grass. I'm so happy, ladies and gents. Let's get a screenshot. Probably should have done a headland.
Well, there we are. Our first actual product that we have produced ourselves. We are mowing. Headland, shall we? I think that's going to make life easier for me. Maybe two headwinds would be uh, better for me as well. There's obviously quite a bit of a uh, length to it. I just panicked then for a second. I thought I'd knocked a bottle over. I was like, what? Also discovered in my video that failed to record properly that there's a um, um there was a big hole in the map back there on that path leading up to the uh, warehouse cell point so i ended up having to um get the smooth tool out and fill that in <laughs> um, i noticed it when i was driving my front loader with the pallet because it basically, uh, on the front, because it basically fell into that hole. And I was like, oh, okay. Right ho. But yeah, we got the, uh, got some flowers planted on that field there. Which is pretty good. Like I say, there are a few contracts. There are some weeding contracts that I've accepted as well, by the way. Um, there was three of those available this morning. So I really should be sending a tractor off. A vehicle off to do some weeding for me. Um, so we can actually earn some money because obviously I've just spent an absolute crap ton today on all the equipment we need for our mowing business. <laughs> yeah. Although I do have a bit of a plan to recover some of that money straight away. Um, obviously if I do silage bales I need to wait a couple of days, a couple of months before they have fermented before I can sell them whereas if I do hay I can sell that straight away so what I plan to do is maybe do half the field as hay half the field as silage because then I can sell the hay right now today and no problem that money will be mine um, and then the, in a couple of weeks time once the silage bales are ready to sell uh, we can sell those obviously we won't get a great price for them straight away because it's the wrong time of year to be selling silage uh, in the summer but it will give us money give us a big income boost and then obviously we'll hopefully get some more cuts before the end of the year off this field we are going to roll it after we've mowed it so we should definitely get some more um, more of that and do one more quick trip round the field and then I'm probably going to let a worker then handle the up and down bits for me. Um, 
And what we can do then is I can go get the baler and start doing some baling just to get the um, some of the bales out of the way. And some of the windrows out of the way. And then that way then I can see um, where to ted and where to windrow the other grass that we're going to do as hay. And that will get us nicely then into a position where like I say, we have got stuff to sell straight away. And um, we're also then in a position where we've got stuff we can sell in a couple of months' time. But like I say, I also have got contracts available. Um, we have got, if I go and have a quick look, um, uh, there's harvesting, a couple of harvesting jobs, there's a fertilizing job, there's free weeding jobs. The free weeding jobs are accepted, so I really need to be going and making a start on those. And then the other job, other jobs are, um, uh, to be, to be determined. I think two of the jobs are potato harvesting, which is going to cause me a problem. Um, although, I should hopefully have enough jobs completed now where we might actually be able to borrow the equipment for the farmers. So we could actually do... We could actually do... Um, potatoes which again would be a good income for us because there's usually a lot of potatoes left over on a potato harvest and so to think about Yeah, we need to get on, like I say, this month. I suppose we can just be working on this field all through the month. We don't have to blitz it all in one video kind of thing. Um, it's something that we can be working on all the while, whilst tending and taking care of other matters. So we can start this guy now just on a worker to work the rest of the field. Right, you can carry on. Right then. So there's our Kubota. Right, we need, like I say, we need a tractor to do... Um, the weeding, don't we? So, you need uh, the weeder. All my equipment got a lovely wash look at the end of the month, ladies and gents. You'll be pleased to know. Pleased to see. So, the first field we've got to do is field six should be fairly close to us. Uh, right, right up at the top, isn't it? Of course it is. Yeah, field six, not a bad place to start. And then we've got fields 21 and 22. Like I say, I know our Fairly big fields. Yeah, 
get, get, get up to uh, field six and um, take it from there, really. Um, I'd say the mowing's going well. I'm going to do some bales fairly early just to remove a few of the windrows. Um, give us room to make some um, silage bale. Um, just wondering where I was going then. I'm going to go around a long way. All my vehicles have been refueled as well. They've all been serviced and maintained. This one's even had new liquor paint. Look, I've even repainted this one because it was starting to look a little bit shabby. Um, so I even paid for the extra to have it repaired last at the end of the month, which, like I say, would have been in the video that, sadly, for whatever reason, didn't um, convert properly after I'd finished recording it. Um, and normally, in that situation, what I would have done is just go back to the original file that OBS recorded, remux it again and get a working video. However, I made the silly mistake of deleting all my MKV files off my hard drive um, before I had got into my editing program. So I didn't realise the video was corrupt and bought until I went into the editing program to try and load it. And at that point, I'd also been stupid and deleted my original files, the original videos that I'd recorded, the MKVs. Normally I leave the MKVs for a couple of days just in case something like that happens, but I was on a bit of a space reclaiming project yesterday, so I was going through deleting loads of stuff. And yeah, I wiped out the, um, the raw recordings. It's not good. Not good at all. Right, so field six. Here we are. Nice big field. We are going to do a course by course. I'm going to make early changes to the field margins. There we go. Right. On the start point, which should be down here somewhere. We'll let him start. Then we'll go get the uh, John Deere tractor. And we will um, make a start on a bit of bailing work. Yes, thank you, Mr. Uh, Tractor. Another worker hired. This man's going to go and do the great job of taking out the weed. Like I say, three fields to do. Six. We've got uh, 21 and 22. Where's 21? There, 21 and 22. So those will be fine. And like I say, then the other contracts we've got available this month, we've got weeding for Gianna on the sunflowers that we planted. We've got potatoes on field eight. 60 grand there's a half wheat field 11 wheat harvest i would need to buy a harvester for that because we've not done any jobs for mr isaac ewing and sheila mcfarlane we've only done one job for so actually can't do those contracts because i can't borrow the gear i could do that one if i buy myself a new harvester uh, but we're not buying a harvester yet we're not so, um, what we're going to do is take this boy, 
grab our baler. So we've got quite a bit of uh, gear here now. Oh, my baler's gone for a walk. Got something. We've got one little thing that we need for this baler. Mm -hmm. Silage additive, of course. Need that. That'll give us a little bit more for our money. A little bit more bang for our buck, won't it? So yes, I will be looking at getting a new auger wagon at some point, a slightly bigger one, um, hence why I sold the other one once I've got all the seed emptied out of it into that global transport pallet thing. Um, like I say, the main reason for doing that was to make sure we'd got um, all the stuff. Uh, they do 150s, I reckon, for this job. looking great. So, yes, nice amount of bales. All being wonderfully produced. It's nice to actually now be doing like some of our own stuff, isn't it? You know? Isn't it nice? All this time doing contracts, we're actually finally working for ourselves. Producing some products for ourselves that we're going to sell for ourselves. <laughs> this is where we turn the corner now in this Let's Play series. And we start to start making steps forward, huge strides forwards now at times. Um. 
so nice, isn't it? Ladies and gents, so, so nice. Be in a position like this. I'd like I say, we're the only farmer on this map doing these types of goods. No one else has got grass. No one else has got hay. No one else has got silage. We've got the market. We've got something that's just ours. So hopefully we'll be in high demand, ladies and gents. Right then, folks, I think what we're going to do, I'm going to call it an end for this video because A, I need to check that it's recorded okay <laughs> so I don't run into another problem. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so I'm going to check that the video's recorded okay. I'm probably then going to come back um, and record another episode today. Uh, probably come back for the, the hay part where we're doing the tedding and the windrowing of the other half of the field. So hopefully I'll have all these these um, bales done. And we'll see how that goes. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching today's episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you're happy that we've actually made a huge step forward today. So I will look forward to seeing you in the next episode in a few days' time. But for now, from me here on Sao Carlos, take care of yourselves, everybody. Stay safe. Goodbye. <laughs>